Alcohol in Minecraft? I'm Scuddy from Blue Coding Family. Welcome to a mod tutorial. Hello and welcome to this mod tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at Growcraft Cellar. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Growcraft, Growcraft is a mod within Minecraft that allows you to grow more um, elaborate crops, um, such as bamboo and things like that. So we're going to be looking at a certain part of the mod today, which is the cellar part. And the reason why it's got the name of cellar is because it involves alcohol, which you can ferment. Uh, so it involves crops, which you can ferment into alcohol, I mean. I got that the wrong way around, but oh well. So the mod currently, in the version I have here, uh, which is for Minecraft uh, 1.6.4 on the Yogscast Complete Pack, um, there are currently only four um, alcohols you can brew. Uh, that is cider, sake, ale, and wine. So these, uh, each each of these are made from a different type of crop. So I'll go through the obvious ones. So we got ale comes from hops. Uh, you've got the wine, which comes from grapes. You've got uh, sake comes from uh, rice. So it's a rice wine and cider, of course comes from apples. So we're going to look at each how you can grow these uh, crops. Um, you might be sitting there already going, but I know how to grow apples, they fall from the trees. Uh, but Growcraft adds a new experience into growing the apples which makes it a lot more easier to get hold of them. And I'll show you that in a bit. So let's start off with hops. Now if you want to skip to any part of this uh, video, um, I'm going to be going through the growing first and then I'm going to go into the brewing. Uh, the skip times are in the description. So, let's start off on hops. So these are found naturally in uh, villages, and um, or you can just build them yourself using this structure. They don't have to be as tall as this, they can be just one high and they come across and that sort of thing. But they do require fence and rope. So if we look at the rope, the rope here requires a lead for uh, when you put the lead into the crafting table it makes eight rope. So it's nice and simple, makes quite a lot of the rope, and it's really easy to make. So let me just grab a fence here, and you place down the two fences, equal distance apart, and you just place the rope coming across, can be quite fiddly, and right click on the fence, and that creates the rope there. Um, it could also be used with quite a cool decoration tool, um, it does create that kind of barrier for you, which is able to jump across. So it does look quite nice and decorative, but it has to be useful. So, how you grow the um, hops is so you need the hop. So how you get the hop is if you haven't found one of these already, um, is either you can hit vines when you're in survival and you get a chance of dropping grapes or um, hops. So that's a great way to find a jungle, a great way of finding the hops or wine. Um, or you can just find uh, an already plant, right click it if it's uh, growing and you get the hops from it. Um, so how do you get because you can't plant these straight away on the soil. So you get the crafting table, go to hop, uh, place the hops into the crafting uh, grid, and you get the seeds out of that. And from there, you can then plant the hops on the ground, and eventually they'll grow slightly bigger and go way up, and then they'll um, start um, growing. And you can start. You can just sit here and right click on the little. Uh, bushes you can walk through them and that's absolutely fine so let's just grab a few of these here just so we can crew quite a bit of beer so these are really cool that's some fell in the water here and that's something we've made it over here so we've got 33 hops lovely jubbly so that's the hops very nice and easy now to be able to craft the ale you do need another ingredient uh, but it's a lot easier to get hold of so that is wheat um, so you need to grow wheat and hops at the same time but of course everyone knows how to grow wheat you just plant seeds into the ground and eventually it comes out like this so it's nice and easy no issues there right so that's the hops i'm going to put the hops into my crafting grid and i'm going to put the here hop seeds back into this chest so now let's come on to uh wine with grapes so of course everyone knows what a vineyard looks like if you don't just google it um, but it looks like but you can make very similar how the hops look so once again it's the growcraft rope made with the lead and the two fence posts 
going across, except for you need water source, you only need one piece of farmland in the middle with water source surrounding it. That's because you only get one trunk here and it spreads along the thing. So let me just grab things here. So this is made exactly the same way how hops are, except for you punch it down and you get the uh, you get the uh, uh, grapes full there as you can see so they fall on the ground now if we right click that if you put these into the crafting table and you get the uh, grape seeds lovely job so let's plant that there so it's like that now all you have to do nice and simple is wait for that to grow but I'm, I'm a little bit impatient so I'm just going to grab some bone meal here and you can see that it's got a little stem goes up. There you go, right click. And you right click it again. And eventually you can see it's starting to grow along the rope. And so it fills the whole thing and then you can right click and then you get the ropes fall down the bottom. And you just, you just punch away. And you should just... Ah, it's because I'm in uh, creative here. So, let me just turn into uh, survival zone. There we go. So you can see he's starting to fall now. Uh, so you can, all you have to do is just go along, hit these bottom runs, and pick up your grapes. So you do get a little bit less grapes than you do with the hops. I've managed, somehow managed to drop some seeds there. So sometimes they can drop, uh, drop seeds um, by chance, but it's quite a rare drop. Uh, but you know how to make more um, more seeds via that technique of uh, just placing these back into the uh, crafting grid. So let's just even it out there. 26 grapes. Lovely job. Put them back in creative. And I'm going to put these in here. So, and I'm going to put the seeds back into this chest. Uh, I'll keep the bone milk down. So now, let's move on to rice with sake. So, there are two ways you can grow your rice. Um, well, no, there's only one way to grow your rice, but there's two ways you can shape your fields. Uh, because there's two ways that people in the real world today make their rice or grow their rice in fields. So you can either have rice fields, or you can have rice paddy, um, tier paddies. So the most famous out of those two, of course, are paddies. Uh, in uh, most, a lot of Asian countries um, have these paddies where they grow their rice along the hill. It's because they have the spring water in the top of the mountains, which cascade down these paddies, um, filling them with water, so they can grow their rice down them. And if just Google rice paddies, you'll see what I mean. It looks beautiful. So I've tried to replicate it sort of in Minecraft here, it looks very square where of course rice paddy is quite roundish as they come down the con contours of the mountain but these are uh, very easy to make so what you um, all you have to do is a couple of things so uh, you can see here that it says in my uh, user interface at the top it says uh, grow craft paddy whereas this just says farmland so everyone knows how to get it to farmland you just hoe it but I grab my rice I can't plant my rice so if you have to get this into a rice paddy you need to grab yourself a shovel could be any shovel I just got diamond here and right click again so I'll quickly show you uh, something that took me a while to figure out so there's two types of um, uh, sorry there's two types of um, Kind of um, farmland. So there's the fertilized farmland, which goes a lot darker, like that. Which, if you right click in a uh, rice paddy, it turns it with water. Without it, it just goes into a rice paddy without water. Now, you cannot place rice in that paddy, but you can place rice in that paddy. So I'm just going to dig these up here. Now, sadly, I don't know of a way of getting these to a uh, wet rice, rice paddy, I'll call them a wet rice paddy yeah, rice paddy, that's really hard on my tongue to say without digging them up and replacing them I'm afraid, I don't know of a way of that if you do, post it in the uh, comment section below uh, but once you've got that uh, wet paddy you can walk in it, that's completely safe, you're not going to drown it has to be near water because of course it has to get to that uh, fertilised state and then um, 
you can do this. Now one thing I learned while making this setup is even if there's water here and you place it place up the rice paddies here, um, even if there's water literally in the block below it, these have to have water on the same level to be able to turn into rice paddies because they have to get the water from somewhere. So that's something I learned on this thing. Now you may notice that these ones aren't grown, but these ones are. So these might have um, so that one's got not grown enough. Let's go into survival. So let's start hitting some of these. So you might notice on this one, even have gold on the top, it has water on the bottom. This one is gold on the top, but doesn't have uh, water on the bottom. So let's hit this one, and I get my free rice. If I hit that one, I only get one back because it's not fully grown. So you need to wait until it's fully grown like that. until you can get all your rice back and you go along and your rice is all done and you pick up your rice. Now of course now these don't go back even if you hit it which is such a shame because it's really quite annoying. If someone knows how to change these once you've planted them to go back to rice paddies uh, wet ones it would be much appreciated. Please post in the comment section below. But as far as I know, that's how you do it. And then to get these back into rice paddies, you just need to uh, destroy them, re put down glass blocks, hoe them, like that, and wait for them to fertilize, like that, and right click them with a shovel to get them back to a paddy. And of course, you can right click them with the rice to get them to plant. Uh, but that is quite lot, lot windy, uh, long winded and it's not at all easy really. Um, I did mention earlier that there was another way of growing these in the real world and that is by literally having fields so you have these in runs so you you wouldn't tear it you just have it on a flat surface uh, and you just have it in a field but of course um, these look cooler. <laughs> right so that's for rice so I'm going to put the rice I've collected up in here and I'm going to get rid of some of these. So now we move on to cider. So apple. So you can see here we have got an apple tree from Growcraft or Growcraft apples should we say. Um, so technically this isn't part of the cellar mod um, but it does involve the cellar mod. So this is a special type of tree that you can only get through Growcraft. So the uh, apple oak you can work, you can get that from forestry and also the oak tree from normal minecraft can drop apples but you have to destroy the leaves for this. Where is this? You can notice the uh, apples are on the leaves themselves and they fall off so let's just hit a couple of these leaves here or a couple of these apples uh, and you might notice from when I um, had when I popped, came to this tree there was one already on the ground so they do fall off naturally which is nice and you might see behind me they are starting to grow back green so green they're not ready red they are ready so how you turn how do you get one of these trees well, it's nice and easy you place the apple core apples into your crafting benches and you get apple cores so then the apple cores you literally just right click as if it's a tree plant down a tree and then you can grab the bone meal like so. That's a nice tall one. That's a nice tall one. So I also quickly mention you may notice this is missing another band of thing. That's because I had to cut it down. Um, so sometimes when you get these trees um, they are too low to the ground so you can't walk under them. All you can do you can bash the leaves so you get uh, the next layer up. Actually I'm going to show you here. So let me grab an apple or apple core. Here we go. So let me grow some more trees here. That's really tall. That's still really tall. I will get one. No, that's tall. There's going to be so many trees here. It's weird how the first one... Oh, there we go. So perfect. So you can see here you can't walk under it and it can be quite difficult to uh, get to the leaves. So all you do 
is bash away the leaves on this first level so you can walk under it like so and you can already start seeing that the leaves are starting to grow apples so it doesn't matter as long as you've got these leaves it will work quite happily and you get your uh, apples so let's uh, so we've got enough apples, so we've got 15 apples, um, so I think we should wait for a few more maybe, or actually let's start growing some, there we go, look at these, oh look at these big juicy apples. So we can, they got a couple stages, so we've got green, we've got like an a, uh, orange and green, and then they've got the red, so we've got three stages before they're ready to pick, oh, wow, three stages and they're ready to pick. There you go, it's one falling right there. So, the way how you can automate this is you can put like vacuum chests underneath, or sorry, vacuum hoppers with chests underneath, and uh, you can just go along and nab them, which is, I've done that in a survival world, it's quite cool. And you can get apples constantly, because apples, as well as being crafted into cider, are also really good to eat and a good source of food and nourishment within your Minecraft game. Uh, for some reason that okay, the slime was on fire. Oh, that's because I've got the uh, defense turrets. So I'm just going to cheat. Come on. So let's grab 30 apples. Now nah, 31. So there you go. There's my uh, four ingredients: rice, hops, grapes, and apple and apple cider. I've uh, probably got loads of apples now. Um, so, now let's move on to crafting. Oh, it's not crafting, into brewing and fermenting. So, when it comes to fermenting, there are two types of processes. There is a press and there is a brew. So, depending on what you're trying to make is if you, is it, is if you put it through a press or is if you brew it. So, if it's obviously a fruit, you put it through a press. If it's anything else, you put it through a brew. So, cider and wine, you put through the presses, and this is a fruit press. So, how you make a fruit press is five wood, four, uh, sorry, three iron ingots, and one pisson. Nice and easy. But these do require a um, redstone input, hence why I have the lever at the top, like that. Um, so, you have cider and wine uses press, and you have the brew kettle which is for a brewing which are used for the ale and the sake. So the uh, brew kettle requires a, um, a lit uh, block underneath it. So the easy way to do this is the never rack, uh, let it on fire, have it underneath the kettle. If without that, it will not work. So the brew kettle, it's really nice easy to make. It's just a cauldron placed back into the crafting table and you get a brew kettle out of it. Of course, cauldron. It right there is seven iron ingots, so it's nice and easy one to make. And there. the only other thing you need is a ferment barrel. Ferment barrel is six iron ingots and three wood, so it's a little more expensive, but you can use them over and over again. Same with presses and stuff. So let's go through some of these things. So each alcohol has um, at least four different states. It has young which means it's unfermented it has fermented and it has extended and potent extended means that the effects of the alcohol will last longer the potent means they are more stronger so um let's make our cider here so we put the apples into the fruit press and nothing's happening it's because you need to turn on the redstone signal and you can see here it starts moving the cider across now with all Growcraft things, they, you get the chance of having bone meal being produced from it. So you get bone meal back, which is really nice. So you can see here from these apples, I've now got what's that? Five bone meal. This would be probably six. There we go. Really nice. Now you've got to wait till this is full before you can take anything out of it. So once it's full, you grab a bucket, right click, and you get the bucket of apple cider. So uh, there you go, and it continues to fill up. So you get your bucket of apple cider, and you can place them into the ferment barrel. So inside the ferment barrel, these take three buckets worth of a liquid. So it, you need to have a lot of apples. I'm not entirely sure of the number, 
Uh, but each apple is worth 20 points or 20 milliliters or whatever these things are in. Where from a barrel takes 3,000. So what happens is you uh, you can't place the bucket and you, you can place it there, but it doesn't go in. So how you fill the bucket, how you fill the med barrel is you right click, and you can see there it's got a thousand young apple cider. So you could drink that already in a bottle, but it won't do anything. It's just an apple cider, but it's unfermented, so it's basically apple juice. Um, but so let's fill these up. So one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Of course, I'm a, I'm in creative, so I can do that. You'd need to go through a lot more apples to get this. So now, uh, in the real world, you would need to ferment this, and you'd leave it age and stuff. In this, it doesn't have that, which is a shame because I think with some of these, you would like to um, age them um, just to add that extra flavour and stuff. Which no, you just have to give it a um, an ingredient. So. Every single alcohol in Growcraft takes the same ingredient to ferment. That is a never wart. Oh, there you go. So, you place the never wart in here, and you can start seeing it's going up and bubbles. And let's place it in here. So, you need only need one never wart in each, and it bubbles. And once it's fermented, this turns from apple cider young to apple cider fermented. And you get that you, up here, turns into a never wart, so it looks like that. Yeah, like that. So it's nice, nice and simple, and that's it. So the bottom one is showing you what kind of uh, potent, if it's potent or extended. It can either be, it can either be one or the other. It cannot be both. So uh, you kind of get a clue on what you need to put in here uh, to make one or the other. It's a dust. So I've got a little diagram here. You put in redstone, you get extended um, alcohol. You put in glowstone, you get a potent alcohol. Nice and simple. So we'll leave those brewing. These do take a while to uh, ferment. And we'll put these into here. So let's move on to the wine. Put the grapes in. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have enough grapes, but I'll grab some more just in case. So you can see here, once again, we're getting more bone meal and we're getting grape wine young. So while that's going in, let's just grab the bucket. Uh, almost. There we go. Lovely job. Right click. There's my bucket of grape wine. And once again, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There you go. So that's my wine. Now, once again, you would normally age this for a while, but in uh, Growcraft, you, you don't you don't age stuff. You you need to ferment it with an Everwort. And there we go, and we leave those to ferment. Once again, you can use a glowstone or the redstone to get the extended effect. Um, now, let's move, let's put these back into here. And let's put the grapes back in there. Now, let's move on to some more harder stuff. So, sake, so which is rice wine. We need a couple of things. We need some water buckets on top, because the uh, brew kettle needs water in it to start off. Like so. So you see that's now filled with water. So let's grab the rice. I'll grab a bit more because it does take quite a bit because these are 25 a time. So these are less than the uh, uh, less than the wines or the uh, cider. So because of course it's not a fruit. It's not full of juice. It's a it's a dry product and you need to just mush it with water to get this sake. Or well, it's technically sake young. Or sake, sake, sack, sake. I call it sake. So you can see here it's swapping over, and we get the sake in this side, and the water's going down this side. So not many more to go. Lovely. So there's the sake. Now to get this out, you once again right click with uh, the bucket, and we fill these up. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we can now see these fill the sake. Once again, use our never wart to ferment them. And once again, you can use the uh, redstone or glowstone to add the effects onto the sake. It's a lovely job. Uh, and then you can go through the whole process again of filling up with sake. Like so. Lovely job. Oh, I fell in the fire pit. So I'm going to put sake back into here. 
Lovely job. Nice. There we go. So now let's move on to the ale. So this is one um, I'll probably say what people will be doing most because it's quite it's quite a popular drink in the real world. Um, so let's grab, like I said, we need the wheat. Uh, and we've already got a bucket of water, let's grab a hops down. So, what we do is this is a two step process, you need to fill it with water, like so, so we now have water. First of all, you need to put the wheat in. So you can see this starts producing ale, so it says no hops and young. You can't put the hops in first because, of course, you need the ale from the wheat first. Um, so we let this go through, and once again, we get the bone meal out of this, so it's a great process and you get bone meal out of it. So that's just going through. There you go, 1000. So we take the wheat out and we click the little green button saying switch which moves the ale back over to the left hand side and we put our hops in. So now this will turn to hot and young. So, lovely job. So swapping over. So this is a two step process, so this will take a lot longer for you guys to do, but I do think it's worth it in my personal opinion. Um, there we go, so that's out. So now let's uh, grab it out with a bucket. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now let's uh, put our nether warts in there to ferment it. Once again, you can use the glowstone or redstone to extend the effects, but of course, you should know that by now. Oh, there's that one then. So now these are fermenting. So I'll double check with the uh, cider if has this been fermented yet. Yeah, no. So these do take a long, long time to ferment. No issue. So you can see here that the bubbles are slowly going up. Uh, that shows you how long they got to ferment. So these will take a long time, but that's fine. I've got some here to show you. So these are the ones what's had the effects in. So let's just show you. So here we go. So this is the hopped fermented extended, and you can see here that it's got the redstone illuminated and down here this is the hot fermented potent and you can see here that it's got the glowstone uh, illuminated so what we're going to do is let's grab another ferment barrel here and I'm going to cheat and I'm going to fill it with hopped and fermented so you can see here that it hasn't got so this is once you've fermented it with the never wart this is the same for all the alcohols once it's fermented it shows the never wart has been uh, illuminated to show you that it's fermented. It also says it there, uh, but the uh, the, ex uh, the kind of like enhancement hasn't been illuminated because it's not uh, it's not been put in. So there is a button saying discard. That means you dump the entire thing. You lose it all. Don't click it. So I'm just going to put the uh, hops and stuff back into the chest and I'm going to grab the glass bottles because of course we want to drink this. So I haven't worked out fully how many each one takes or so there we go so the ale takes nine out of it and leaves three so you have to discard that last three. Um, of course we can't really drink. get it out of the sake. Uh, so let's actually grab some of this other stuff. So we've got ale wine cider so let's all grab it out of the same barrel one two three so let's double check it there you go sake fermented never wart one two three four one two three four one two so it's roughly the same from each of the uh things here so you get nine bottles out of each barrel it's quite nice so let's put the wine in just to double check one two three one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Now, okay. And let's put the cider in. One, two, oh, oh yeah. One, two, three, four. And let's fill out one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and empty. Lovely job. So there's our alcohol ready and ready and fermented. Now it'd be really cool if you build a giant aging house with these things and even if they don't age in Minecraft just to stack them up in a giant warehouse with all the barrels along the side will look awesome and you can impress all your friends on the server going look at my alcohol aging house and then you can bring them upstairs you got your bar and you go ah sir what would you like 
and they go, oh, I'll take an apple cider, please. And you go, sure. I mean, of course, you hand them a bottle like that. Uh, yeah, pick it up, have a drink, and then they get two potion effects. So you get absorption every time, and of course that's what the uh, potency of extended get. You get more, or you get it more. Um, you get it more potent, so it's more extreme absorption. Not entirely sure what absorption does. If you know, pop it in the description below. I'm, I'm always learning myself. Tipsy is something you can get, so let's keep drinking. Let's have a lot of drink. Okay, and of course, if you drink too much, you get sick. And uh, you're not going to uh, be doing too well here. Oh! And of course, you go blind. That's fine. I'm going to be out on the stag. I'm going to be drinking everything. Oh no, this is not going on well. So I'm going to drink, drink the bar dry. So this isn't going on well for me. So you can see there I've got, I'm really tipsy, I've got absorption for a long time, I've got a lot of nausea, and blindness is out the window. Um, so I can't see much. Um, I probably need some milk. Um, so let's grab myself a bucket of milk, just so I can actually see. Uh, how do I get milk? Milk. Uh, let's go for a bottle of milk. There we go, and I'm back to the real world. I thought I was facing that direction. <laughs> that's really bad. So the tipsy does work quite well. So yeah, that's been uh, Growcraft Seller, uh, teaching you how to grow and ferment and make alcohol of the four uh, ingredients and alcohols in Growcraft. Any questions, please pop in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Any, tim any tips and comments, I'm more than welcome. Uh, but remember, if this has helped you, share this to your friends, hit that subscribe button and the like button so I know that I, I can do more and that you really like the channel. So, for myself, Scotty, and the rest of the Blue Coconut family, I wish you a very good day, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.